Welcome back, guys. Frame by Frame, Coach Barrick here. We're going to be breaking down the GHD sit-up. Before we get started with the GHD sit-up, just remember that when we start doing these for the first time, or you know, when we're just learning this movement, take it easy. Whatever you feel like you're capable of doing, maybe, maybe do half of that. Limit the range of motion as well. Right? Eventually, we do want to reach full range of motion. However, when we're learning this movement, start with shorter range of motion and build it up over time. These movements, this movement can do a lot of work and make you very, very sore. A lot of tissue breakdown. So be smart with this movement. Have a coach ideally help you with this. All right, so we're going to break Brian down. Now, Brian is relatively new to this movement. He's been with us for about three months. We have not done this movement a lot, so we're just gonna break him down. Um, this is not a judgment on him, he's just learning the movement and we're breaking it down. After I showed him this video, he got much better in this leg extension that we're gonna focus on. He got much better. So awesome job from Brian. So let's get started. So he's coming down. You're gonna notice we have some leg bend and that is what we wanna see. That is very good position. And you're gonna come down, he's doing a limited range of motion. Like I said, he's learning the movement, movement, so that is okay. That's what I'm looking for. And then when we come up, when we start on that up, you're gonna notice that his leg position does not change position. And we want it to change position. It should straighten coming through. Comes up, hits the roll, and notice his legs really are not changing position at all. They stay bent the entire time. They might get a little more bent at the top, but what we want is for those legs to actually straighten. So when we come through here, you're going to see me come all the way down. My, my legs are bent here. And then on the way up, see that flex right there in the quad? So I'm bent here, flex. Now my legs are straight. Legs are straight. And I'm going to pop up. Pop. Notice how explosive that movement is. It's a really explosive movement, and that's what we want. We want that hip extension to be aggressive. We want it to be really aggressive on that way up. Coming down, and then pop. Getting it all the way up to that position. The slower we go, the more chance of injury that we have. So we want it to be a little more explosive. So again, let's come back to Brian. We have that bent knee, he's on his way up. That's when that leg should straighten. So we can see when I'm coming up, leg straight, straight leg. When we squeeze the quad, that's gonna activate that, that uh, hip flexor. It's gonna turn the butt on. It's gonna, um, uh, it's gonna flex our midline and we're gonna be able to pop up faster and more aggressive in that movement. All right, so round. Let's put the final touches on it. When we're doing GHDs, limit the range of motion while you're learning it. We still wanna see that speed and we want that leg, we want that leg to lock out. We wanna squeeze that quad on the way up. Squeeze that quad on the way up. All right, limit range of motion, limit your reps while you're learning, but be aggressive on the way by squeezing the leg. I hope this helps. If you have any questions about your GHDs, let me know. Let's get them better. Let's get better today. Cheers.